Hi, uh, my name is Mpo Elizabeth Mpofu from Zimbabwe. I was with um, I was in Koji for the Diploma in Leadership Program in 2018. Um, and amazingly, part of my scholarship was funded by the CWL. My name is Irene Lafort, and I live in Antigonish. Been in Antigonish since 1974. My husband and I and our family moved from Cape Breton to Antigonish in 1974. Hi, I'm Amuda, Amuda. And as I'm my sister, came from Bangalore, Karnataka. My name is Gord Cunningham. I'm the executive director of the Cody International Institute and the extension department here at beautiful St. Francis Xavier University in Nova Scotia, Canada. In 2018, I just I was working with uh, Action Aid International Uganda as a gender advisor. I've been involved in the Catholic Women's League pretty well all my life. I'm a member for 68 years. We are into 19 countries working among the people. Our work is to uh, be in the villages, mostly in the villages, remote areas, to work for the people, for the development of the people, especially for the women and the girl child. We have uh, social work centers and hospitals, schools, orphanages. The Cody Institute is a leadership education institute that has been around for 61 years and over that time has provided uh, educational opportunities for close to 10,000 leaders from around the world uh, coming from communities in Asia, Africa, Latin America, and increasingly here in Canada as well. I belong to St. Ninian's Catholic Women's League here in Antigonish right now. I had various uh, roles of responsibility over the years. I was diocesan, the president of the Antigonish Diocesan Council, the Nova Scotia Provincial Council. I served on the national executive for a total of 17 years and I was national president of this lovely organization from 1986 to 1988. The Catholic Women's League has been probably our longest standing uh, supporter at the Cody Institute for the full 60 or 61 years of our existence. Over that time period, uh, we have received uh, almost $800,000 in support. Uh, and that's not counting uh, way back in the early years before we were keeping those records. And that's not counting some of the support we received from some of the councils. And so the, the, the support that CWL has uh, given us over the years has on average brought between six and 12 people to Cody programs. Cody had um, a vast uh, cultural diverse experience. And for me, I learned how to engage with um, people from different cultures, people with a different view from yours. Uh, the lectures always challenged us to, as much as it's not your view, you need to understand and listen to what's going on. So I took that with me. Coming from India and people coming from different parts of the world. And most of us are work for the same purpose. All were working for the same purpose, but there were differences, differences which helped me to work with them and learn from them. They're sharing their life experience with the people in the community where we worked was a great help for me. That made me an eye opener. That made me, gave me courage and strength to do a lot of work after coming from Kodi. Now, 500 women I have trained, self-help groups and skill developments I have done. So I gave them training in uh, like fashion designing, computers and beautician now the fashion is beautician so they have i have given them training and placed them for job so they started working they started earning so today they're able to stand by themselves our league prayer says one of our lines in our catholic women's league prayer says teach us to share with others at home and abroad the good things you have given us and that's what we're doing when we have established the bursary for the Cody students. We are sharing with others at home and abroad the good things that have been given to us. If not for Cody's support, I, I would not have done so much of work. I'm grateful for Cody who actually developed that partnership with CWL because they understood that a number of people in different communities actually needed that funding and actually needed to learn something from there. Um, secondly, uh, uh, 
appreciate CWL for actually granting me that uh, opportunity because personally on my own, I wouldn't have been able to afford it, but it actually opened so many doors for me. It's their support which has brought me to Cody. The fun, the fun that they gave. And today, if I had to come to Cody, it is because of them. They have done a lot of work. They are, they are in there. At their age, they are sacrificing. They are giving what they can do. And they are thinking the good of others. That is the great thing that we have to appreciate in them. Thinking good of others and helping others to come up in life. Our attitudes and our opinions and our sharing of this world, it rests on all of us. And for those of us who are blessed to live in Canada, to live in a free world, to have food and shelter and the opportunity for education, it means a great deal to be able to make in some small way a sharing of that opportunity with our sisters in other parts of the world who are working for the same things we are, working for the good of their communities, for their families. The Cody Institute wouldn't exist if we didn't have supporters like the Catholic Women's League. Uh, your support has been incredibly important in making it possible for people to attend Cody programs. You've, as I mentioned earlier, you've uh, provided uh, over $800,000 in support. We would love to see that reach a million soon. Uh, congratulations on your 100th anniversary. Um, and we are just delighted to have this partnership with you and we hope it continues for another 100 years. If we can help them to do something, we are fulfilling our role and our obligation to, to God and to our fellow people, to our sisters in this world. I'm very confident that the Catholic Women's League will continue to support the endeavors of the Cody through our, through our bursary program and probably even expand it in some, times, in some time in the future.